What's up, everybody? I'd like to show you my new daily driver, if I can get a good shot of it. It is a 2008 Impala SS with just rolled over 69,000 miles. This is the nicest, newest car I've ever owned. And it's not the lowest mile, but it is the nicest. Uh, it's got every option, of course the SS's do every option except the Bose sound, which is a plus because I plan to put aftermarket radio in it. Uh, of course the leather seats with the SS embroidered headrest. It's got the grayish uh, interior in it. Sunroof, all that jazz. I really, this is actually the first car I've ever took a loan out on and I'm happy. Uh, I needed something dependable. Firebird shit the bed. That's the basically the nicest way to put that. And uh, which it was, I mean, it, I, it, yeah, I still got money out of. I sold it and sent it on down the road. But I was tired of fucking with it. And this got the uh, if I can open the hood has the 5.3 liter uh, LS4. This is what GM calls it, making about 303 horse, I think. Uh, it's, it's very peppy. It will knock the fire, V6 Firebird's dick in the dirt. Uh, and it gets decent fuel mileage. Uh, not being real light on it and driving to get fuel mileage. I drive it like it's got a V8 in it. I get about 20 mile a gallon. And that's got the active fuel management, uh, which kicks in four cylinders, which means it's very expensive when that shit fails. That's about the only way to put it. Uh, and it's got the SS wheels, of course. It's pretty much bone stock. This basically was the leased vehicle uh, for most of his life. And it's had four owners. Uh, I'm the fifth. Uh, the rest of them were leased except one. And it's only had about the most miles drove on it were 13,000 by one owner. This car is very clean. Uh, it's dirty right now. I need to clean it. But it's just kind of falling out here and... Uh, South uh, West Iowa, and uh, it's just kind of get it's just shit. It's pretty much, but it's getting nice. It's in the fifties, forties and fifties, which is a decent temperature to do stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of some plans I have to do with, or I'm gonna plan to do on this car. Being, I haven't had this car obviously for a while. I plan to have this car for a while. Uh, cause I really like it. Uh, I, a lot of people wonder probably why I didn't go with more of a sporty car. Well, I'm 20 years old and I've had sporty cars and they tend to be cop magnets. And this is not as big of cop magnet as like a 2010 Camaro SS would be. This is one thing I like about it being it has four doors. It can access more people a lot more comfortably than a, uh, say it, 2010 Camaro SS. A Monte Carlo would have been the next thing that I would have been considering getting because it's basically a two-door Impala SS with a different rear end, which I like the rear end of the Impala. But I like to have the floor or the four doors. I really did. That was a big benefit for me. The only it's got uh, nice WeatherTech style floor mats. I actually think they are WeatherTech floor mats. Uh, it smells new in here still. Of course, again, there's the sunroof. That's got the factory uh, uh, stock radio in it right now. I want to go out with, uh, replace that with a Pioneer uh, AVEC, or however the heck it's AVEC, 4000 NEX. Uh, the only thing I wish the dash lights were red in this, like the Pontiac. I do like, it would match the car a lot better being it is red. I do like how this is this... Uh, different style I don't know what you want to call that kind of like a checkered style other than a wood grain I do like that but I'd like to get another set of those and I would like to paint them red uh, to match the car uh what else uh, of course it's got the on star it's got it's got everything got a lot of storage in it really let me go ahead and pop the trunk and uh Got a big trunk, which this is going to get a system, of course. I do believe the system upgrade for the 95 Camaro has kind of been canceled because I think a lot of the amps and stuff are going to be migrating to this car because 
Yeah, I'm going to put a lot of my time in on this car. <laughs> I got it Stalker Chevrolet in Crested, Iowa. Uh, really good de dealership that I got through. I got financed through the dealership, actually. And they have a really decent financing uh, program, a lot of offers. Uh, being that was the first time uh, getting a loan. And I had a good co-signer and a good credit score. And they got me a really, actually a pretty good uh, deal. I did a 36-month loan with uh, about 3.49% uh, interest rate. Just personally, I like that. That's a decent deal. Uh, it's, I did go with a 36-month instead of a 48 or 60-month term loan because I want to get this paid off sooner. I'm going to try to put more money than the monthly payment to get it paid off sooner. I like doing that because it's good on credit uh, scores, and it will just make you feel a hell of a lot better. This is the other thing that I've noticed that's wrong with it. These are just I'm nitpicking my little stupid stuff that this is separating here, which I plan to actually pull that out and match this red and paint that red and leave the chrome, chrome on the outer exterior. This has the fog lights, the standard headlights, which I like doing HID upgrade, even though the headlights are super bright as it is. I really like the look of this car. It's a very sleek uh, car. A lot of people say I need racing stripes. I, I just I ain't feeling it in this car. I really like the way it is now. Uh, my plans for basically performance upgrades, I want to do a high flow cat uh, and a magna flow cat back with a gain in cold air intake. Nothing nuts. I just want to make it flow better and sound better. Because it sounds good now, actually. Here, I can go ahead and fire it up in here. It's got remote start. I mean, it's pretty quiet, but back here. It sounds good with that LS4. Shut her off. Very, very nice car. I wish the SS badges were red. They had a white one there as well. Uh, and I was debating on getting it, but it, they wanted more, I had more miles and they wanted more money for it, but it was locally owned. It wasn't a leased vehicle. A lower owner vehicle too. It didn't have a sunroof, but it had bows, which I kind of, if I want to, if I'm putting a stereo upgrade in it, I don't want to have to deal with bows. Amplifier. Because I'm going to put aftermarket head unit, I'm going to put aftermarket door amp, put aftermarket sub amps. I'm going to do basically everything aftermarket. I'm not going to splice any of the factory wiring in the car. All of my wiring is going to be add-on. I'm going to use a pack radio interface to interface with all my steering wheel controls and stuff to make that work. I don't want to cut any of the harness on this car. I want to keep this car factory so I can basically pull all my aftermarket equipment out of the car and replace it with factory equipment. In this case, I probably wouldn't replace the factory, some of the factory equipment. Like the factory speakers in these cars are quite cheap on the standard audio system, which I probably wouldn't fact put them back in factory. Uh, but yeah, this, I just thought I'd give you guys, I'm going to try to actually get a goddamn picture of it with, you can actually see it. And it's not really this pinky red, it's more of the victory red color, and I do, and it just, the camera don't do it justice. It's much nicer. I'm excited about it. I'm happy. I can actually get in this car and not feel like I'm going to break down. I hated riding the Firebird because everywhere I went, that's how I felt. Even though I put a lot of miles on that car. And it gave me quite a little bit of problem, but not as much problems as it probably should have. Being as I put that many miles on it. But, uh, yeah, this has got the flip down, which might it's locked now. Go ahead and lock it. It's got the fold down rear seats. Just grab the bottom of the seats and then you grab the top and they fold down and you get more storage and yada yada. Which would be nice because I plan to build me a custom amp rack that's right here. Uh, set back a little bit. And then the amp rack will be in here and you'll be able to flip the seats down to see the amps and adjust all the gains and stuff. And of course I had the box. I want to do... Two fifteens in this car, but I might be going with just two twelves because it's not really packed tight for space, but do a good uh, ported enclosure for two fifteens, NVX fifteens. That's probably what I'd go with. Would just it? Uh, there's not enough space that I really want to constrict it real down, but I want to go with its uh, recommended 
the, about the good recommended hertz tuned box with the recommended uh, cubic feet that they recommend for their sub because they make the sub you think they know their sub so I like to go through the only thing I have to complain about is the broken bumper cover <laughs> and these plastic fender liners or inner fender wells uh, I'm going to definitely figure out how I'm going to do this. I don't know. I'm, I actually thought about flipping this behind the front bumper cover. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and someday put jack up the car and move the bottom under one that's screwed on. And I'm going to try to give me some screws or something in here to kind of hold this in place because I it's kind of flops. Uh, for you guys that want to know, yes, it will spin the front tires. And you really don't even have to get on it that hard to spin the front tires. Uh, top speed in the car, 148 mile an hour. That's where the factory limiter is in place. And it will do that. I will not say where I did that or how I know that, but it will do that. Uh, <laughs> everybody knows that they buy their car, they got to test it out, you know? You got to give it the good, give it the pace, take, run it for its paces. Uh, other than that, I'm really happy with the exterior appearance of this car. I, I don't, I've always liked, I've always been a fan of Impala. My grandma's had quite a few Impalas. <laughs> That's why I call it my grandma's car. <laughs> but I really liked them. I liked the way they drove. I always thought they were good cars. And But I, she never had an SS. And she was actually, she's kind of a sporty old grandma. <laughs> and she's got a 1950 Chevy pickup, which I don't have a video of. Someday if I can get out, I'll show you, give you a nice video. Restored. Got a three built 355 in it. Really nice pickup. Moves ass, too. And, uh, and she never had an SS. She actually wanted an SS, but uh, some people talked her out of it. I tried talking her into it, of course. <laughs> but... This is, uh, and I, I knew, because me, I'm more of a sportier person. I wanted the SS. I didn't want an LTZ. I wanted something that get power, had power with relatively decent fuel economy. These actually do quite well. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm rambling all in this video here. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace.